previously on Garage Avenger. Dust doesn't get down to temperature. I don't know what I've done wrong. Could it be the cooling units? Do you think they're too small? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Fuck! Mother Hello and welcome to Garage Avenger. This is part three of the Sofa Beer Fridge build. Um, part two, I may or may not have allegedly ballsed up big time with the refrigeration side of things. Now, um, I completely had miscalculated the size of the refrigeration units I'd need. Now, I've completely scrapped my original idea and I've got a new plan in place. But unfortunately, it's coronavirus time and none of my friends can come around here and help me do something which I need help with. Uh, so, I thought, whilst we wait for lockdown to be finished, let's focus on the programming, electronics, and voice control stuff uh, instead. And let's get our nerd on. Yep, let's do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's go shopping. <laughs> Junk mail. Where's my from China? <laughs> my parts are never gonna come from China. Hey, Daddy, we got this in the mail today. Woohoo! God, oh, that's not good. Well, that was close. The doc gave me all clear. No coronavirus for me, but unfortunately I was diagnosed with severe Matt Damon syndrome. But we still have a project to do. We've still got boxes to open. Um, so let's get on with it. Matt Damon. Like a glove. Right, everything's in place and wired up. Now, before I go plug this thing in, I kind of wanted to talk about programming because I spent like six months just bashing my head against the wall. How hard can it be? Learning how to program this thing. And this is probably a massive challenge for me um, for the whole build. And it's it's just been really interesting for me. So I, I just want to give it justice. I just want to talk through the code um, that I wrote for this. So here we go. Compression and expansion of the longitudinal waves cause the erratic oscillation, you can see it there, of the neighboring particles. Uh, I'm glad you guys understood everything. <laughs> Actually, if you do want to know more about the code, uh, just send me a message or, you know, comment on this video and I'll bloody send you my code and you can have a look at it. We can even just do a Discord uh, discussion where we can just talk about what I actually did on it. But I thought, let's plug this thing in and see if it bloody works and I'll show you what all that programming was all about. The lights are on, that's good. All right, let's test the voice command. So far, bear me. can be tricky sometimes. It sometimes it doesn't quite recognize you. Uh, we'll try it again. So far, bear me. Hmm. 
It's a wire loose, hold up, hold up. Ah! Shit, mother f What? No! Ah! What the f have I done? Oh my god. So what actually happened? Um, I accidentally touched the loose wire to a 12 volt supply and which then blew up everything that was controlling the 5 volts system. So Arduino gone. Um, that's useless. All the other stuff blew up as well as you saw a lot of smoke. So um, have to start over again and order some more parts but of course that's going to take time. So I guess now we can look at the the, the, the refrigeration side of things um let's get on with it and we'll get up to what we can and then when i need some help from some friends hopefully this quarantine thing will be over and i'll pop around and we'll fix it seriously i don't know why i can do this i hate my life sometimes oh my god Alright guys, I thought I'd explain to you what I've actually done here. Now you saw I destroyed an old fridge and I ripped all the internals out of it and now I've transplanted it into this thing. Now this is my evaporator box, this is the thing that keeps the fridge cold. And what happens is air is going to come in through here, over the top and bottom of the uh, evaporator coil and then underneath the dividing glass and out through this fan and then into the body cooling everything. So it does a circular airflow motion, dragging the hot air from the top over the coil and then cold air out the bottom. So I hope this is going to work. Um, in my head it works and it's been a long process. So let's switch it on and just see what happens.
Oh, it's getting cold. Oh! Oh, it's so cold. Ow! Oh. Woo! Yes! <laughs> ah, something's working! All right, let's throw this lid on and see if we can get it down to some sort of temperature, even though there's holes all through this thing. Let's see what happens, hey? Hey guys, we're nearly finished. I can't believe it. Uh, I've just got to do some reassembly and some prettying up of things. And I think we'll be ready to test. So I will see you in the next video with the thing completely finished and ready to go. I hope it's going to work for you guys. I hope it's going to work for me because I'm probably going to cry. Um, if you liked the journey so far, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. It would mean the world to me and to the sofa beer fridge because me and the sofa beer fridge are one and one now. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Woo! Testing! Yeah!